Did you know that space can help us better understand our body? As Europe's population continues to age, fiscal costs linked to pensions, healthcare, and long-term care are expected to rise over the coming decades. Population aging is one of the most significant demographic and social trends of the 21st century, affecting nearly all the countries in the world. Over the years, research conducted in space has helped us scientists gain a better understanding of the biological processes that mimic aging of the human body. In particular, the muscle and the skeletal systems have been studied in the weightlessness condition offered by the International Space Station over the last 20 years. The results may promise countermeasures to aging-related diseases. Muscles are used less in microgravity, and research has shown that this leads to up to 20% loss of muscle mass and 40% loss of muscle strength after about six months of being in space. Exercise countermeasures on board the International Space Station, such as resistance exercise, don't fully prevent muscle decline. This is why we need to find out the underlying mechanisms to develop effective countermeasures. Previous evidence suggests that the molecular signals inside the body that sense energy use and mechanical loading are disrupted during spaceflight and may contribute to muscle decline. To test this, we conducted the first UK-led experiment to the International Space Station, the Molecular Muscle Experiment, or MME, in 2018, and a follow-up study, MME2, in 2021. These experiments each involved sending 36,000 microscopic worms, called C. elegans, to live on board the International Space Station to see how microgravity affects their muscles. These very small worms share many of the essential biological characteristics with us. For example, their muscles behave very similarly to the way our muscles do, and we share nearly 80% of the same genes. So the findings from the Molecular Muscle Experiment and the Molecular Muscle Experiment 2 could have important implications in finding out more about muscle loss in space. And this could lead to new therapies for muscle dystrophy aging and other conditions on Earth. Astronauts up at the International Space Station exercise for at least one and a half hours every day to combat loss of muscle function and bone mass. However, an area we know much less about is the effect of microgravity on the human resting muscle tone. And this is something scientists from Charity University Medicine Berlin are eager to investigate. Myotones is an ESA-sponsored experiment that was designed to monitor the tone, stiffness and elasticity of astronauts' muscle during their mission on the ISS. This was done using a non-invasive, roughly smartphone-sized portable device called Myoton Pro. There are many similarities between the musculoskeletal deconditioning in space and its ground-based analog of bed rest, with the changes that we observe during aging. Better understanding of changes to the body that occur in spaceflight can contribute to developing countermeasures and therapies that protect the health of astronauts and help people with age-related conditions and diseases on Earth. Osteoblasts, the cells that form a new bone, when cultured in microgravity, show a decrease in cellular integrity and in their activity. The same happens on Earth during the aging process, thereby contributing to the onset of osteoporosis. In 2018, we performed an experiment on board the International Space Station called in vitro bone. We cultured the bone cells on hydroxyapatite scaffold in the presence or absence of irisin. Results demonstrated that Irisin counteracts the effect of microgravity on the reduction of osteoblast activity by increasing their differentiation and matrix production. So these results support the development of a potential irisin-based drug to counteract bone loss and muscle atrophy, responsible for diseases such as osteoporosis and sarcopenia that affect not only astronauts during space mission, but also a large number of elderly people and young people with other metabolic diseases. Studying how bones react to spaceflight is crucial. 
It offers a way to research immediate changes that take weeks to manifest on Earth. Biomedical companies on Earth developed innovative nature-inspired solutions to help bone regeneration. One of them, Greenbone Ortho, developed a rattan-based scaffold named Bee Bone. That is to say that a bamboo-like plant structure can be used as a substitute for human bone, for example during surgery. The Bee Bones shall be tested on the International Space Station because its microgravity environment gives an ideal accelerated osteoporotic model that will allow the company to study more effectively bone cell behavior. Research on bone and muscle loss in space helps scientists better understand the modifications in the bone and muscle structures. All of this research can have large positive return for patients with muscle and bone pathologies here on Earth, enabling new prevention and treatment procedures to be developed. Do take the next step, the step to space. We did it already. Thank you.